All right, that um, mm -hmm. that could have gone better, but hey, we made it, and let's uh, let's rest a little bit. After some rest. Oh yeah, and we gotta take that poison cure. God damn it. Nothing. The only effect is a tingling sensation. But if Dr. Cranium is to be trusted, you should now be safe from poison for a while. Hmm. Does that mean that we're actually safe from poison, like, immune for a little while? It's a possibility. Well, anyway, let's see if we can get back to the graveyard without further incident. Actually, I'm kind of hoping for some incidents because I kind of like the battle. As weird as the... what do they call it? The, uh... The strategic setup is oh you feel dear. The chill go through you as you enter this part of. All right, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, let's wait here. Let's go ahead and heal up, because we're gonna need all the power we can get to take this motherfucker. Let's rest. After some rest. Uh, let's heal up. That feels good. All right, let's go to run mode and let's kick some saving. Is what we're gonna do. I really love this automatic save system. It makes life so much easier. Kick some saves! At symbol. Okay. Let's go into run mode. And here we go! Let's kick its ass. Sea bass. You feel go, 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 go! In! Alright. Special attack. Up. Defense. Fuck it. Magic use. Hell yeah! Aggressiveness. Bam! Bam! Push! Duck! Parry! Thrust! Oh yeah, he is so, so going down. I got him stun locked, sneaky feet, you brilliant motherfucker. Good night. Wraith vanishes into nothingness, and the air slowly begins to regain some warmth. Ah, that is so satisfying. I don't think I could actually do that on my own, but damn. All right, to the victor of the spoils. The barrow contains treasure that the wraith collected while it yeah, was... Yeah. You find a jewel-studded tiara, Good. six gold crowns, awesome. 40 kopecks, Not bad. and a few old bones. Useless. Do I actually want the bones? Do I get to keep the bones? I do! There they go. Bones. You picked up a few loose bones, undoubtedly hoping that give you a skeleton of a chance of leaving this place. <laughs> That's not funny. Alright, let's rest right here, right on top of the burrow. Let's be as disrespectful as possible. After some rest. Beautiful. Okay. So with that, that, I think once you kill one of the wraiths, you don't have to worry about running into them ever again. But you do have to worry about this. Are you going to hurt me? What are you? A ghostly figure floats near the center of this clearing. Oh. Um. Hello, ghost? Um. I can ask. That's like, hello, you're a ghost! That's, that's be nice. Hello? Hello? Can... can you help me? I seem to be lost. You're... you don't got no legs. Okay. Um... Let's find out who she is before I help her. She's standing right on top of me. Alright, let's see. Um... Uh, uh, name? I'm... I'm... Everything is so strange. I lost my way home. Please, can you... Help me find my way. This is so... Oh, and she fell asleep. This is actually really, really tragic. I would imagine, like, I mean, sp you know, spoiler alert. This is Anna. Anna, this is, of course, Nikolai's wife he's been searching for for 15 years who got lost in the forest. But it's really sad that she still... She cannot leave this one part of the forest. And she, like, she can't remember who she is. She's... She's distraught, and she's been like this for 15 years, reliving her death over and over again. It's awful. That's why I love this game. This game is so well written. It makes me feel for this ghost. Speaking of which, ghost! I'm trying to find my way home. I keep getting lost. Can you show me the way to town? But it seems like at least I can help her out. Ghostly apparition. And she's gone. Let me leave and come back. Maybe she'll be back. Let's sneak in. Let's might as well grind up our skills as long as we're being a do-gooder. she back? Yeah, there she is. She's still here. There you are. What happened to you? I thought you were going to show me the way to town. I'm working on it. I didn't agree to help you out. I want to find out a little bit more about you first, my lady. Home! I... I live in town. Somewhere in town. I... I've got to get home. Okay. Forest! I am looking for berries. 
Uh -huh. The wild blackberry should be right now. For Dr. Cranium. I want to surprise my husband with a pie. It's getting dark now. And I need to get home. Alright, well let's see if we can help her out. Let's see. Alright, come on and follow me. I can't really say help her. Let's see if I give her the thief sign. Maybe that'll make her feel better. No one seems particularly... Alright. Alright, come on baby. Follow me. Let's go. This way. Anna? Anna? You didn't... Anna, come on. You want to get saved or don't you? I... I don't understand. Every time I try to follow you, I find myself here again. Why can't I leave this place? Why can't oh, I go home? Oh, man. Someone's going to have to tell her. Anna, I hate to say it, sweetie, but you're a ghost. No, no, it can't be, no! Oh. The ghostly apparition vanishes. See, when I was a kid and I was playing this game, I was terrified of telling her that she was a ghost because I thought she, like, she would get like defensive and like turn on me. It's like, fuck you, I'm not a ghost. Let me show you how non-ghosty I am by covering you with protoplasm. But no, she didn't. It's really sad. Let's see if we can go back. Maybe she'll reappear. She'll be feeling a little bit better in a second. Anna, you feeling all right, sweetie? Phew. A gruesome, horribly slathering monster just wandered by without seeing you. That's no way to talk about Anna. She's standing right there, John. I remember now. Good. I was walking home. Something started to chase me. I tried to run. Something knocked me over and... Everything went black. I'm dead, aren't I? I really can't go home again. I'm just a ghost. Oh, I'm sorry, Anna. Yeah, it's true. You're just a ghost. Well, now that she's accepted the truth, let's see if she understands anything more about who she was or where she needs to go. Name! My name is... was Anna. I can remember things now. But everything is like a faded dream. Poor Anna. Ghost! It seems so strange to think of myself as a ghost. Everything is blurry. There's no day or night. Only the shadowy landscape. I want to go from here, but I cannot leave. I can only wait. She seems so gentle and kind for her sprite her to look so fearsome and I mean look at those jaundiced eyes looking down she just wants to rip your soul out but no she's like the sweetest girl who's ever not lived home I can remember my house now I live lived beside the tall oak tree near the center of town I've been gone so long my poor poor Nikolai all right, so that's pretty much all we have to learn about her. She's stuck here, but at least we can tell Nikolai what happened to her, so it'll kind of put him at rest, you know? Ah, oh, poor Anna. And I wonder why this uh, she has legs here, but not in her uh, close-up. Well, whatever. None of my business. What the ghosts want to do with their legs is none of my concern. And, uh, oh, zombie. And the music for the zombie is kind of reggae. Listen to this. All right, time to stun lock a zombie. Eat knife and flame and blue flame. You've got nothing, zombie. God, sneaky feet, you cheap bastard. Woo! All right, do zombies carry anything? Do they get loot? You straight? No, no, no. You find some copper copex on the no longer undead. Yeah, what happens if you kill an undead? Is it undead? Dead or dead undead? Or just dead dead? I never got that straight. Alright, fine. We'll get some sleep. Alright. Well, I guess we can get some rest here. I mean, what's gonna kill us in a graveyard? Hey, what happened to this headstone that was here? Did it get moved? You don't know. A fresh grave has recently been opened here. Did it fall in? No hurry. The all right, I could have sworn there was a gravestone there, but whatever. Okay, uh, now we already learned from these two gravestones that this is, I think this is the Rizalka's gravestone? 
This gravestone is marked. No effort could Elissa save. Yeah, the watery grave one. But we're not concerned about that right now. Do good, he can wait. Now let's go into get into this stone. crypt. Let's go. Let's see. Um, pick lock. You need to press. Let's see. I know there is a way that we can. Can we open it? Can we just like cast open? There, there we go. The crypt door lock yields to the power of your open spell. Well, great. I was some thief I turned out to be. I feel awful. Ooh, look at this. You are in a dark, dank crypt, filled with bar-relief figures of long-departed knights and statues of the Grim Reaper. Stairs lead back up to the entrance. A brightly colored copy of the Borgov Crest adorns part of the floor. Hmm, that's gotta be handy. And I see a lot of statues of knights, but I don't see any statues of the Grim... Oh, there he is. Oh, these big scythes sticking out everywhere. I just know they're going to come down and kill me. Let's take a look at one. Oh, such a cheery sight. Yeah. It's a statue of the Grim Reaper, harbinger of death. Hmm. How about these uh, knights over here? Are these statues or are they like reliefs on a, on a crypt wall? You see a coffin cover bearing a bas-relief sculpture of a knight. Thank God. Thank you, John. You know what? For years, I never knew to call it like a bas relief or a ba relief. Thank you, John, for clearing that up. I love you so. Now, you said that there was a something on the floor. Is this it? No, that's drain. Oh, wait. This one doesn't have a uh, voice. Interesting. Maybe it's this one. Aha, here we go. House of Borgov. And apparently, they were really heavy into gay rights and nighttime. So these guys like to go to gay clubs during the nighttime in the city. Yeah, that's it. Open. Release, release, bring me your secrets. All right, now I guess I didn't guess it right. Okay, well actually, this was kind of clever. Now we all remember the the whole Roy G. Biv thing, right? Red, orange, yellow, Roy, G, B, and then no one does indigo anymore. Indigo may as well not exist in the color spectrum anymore. It just goes straight to violet. But you'll notice that B O R G O V, huh? Blue, orange, red, green, orange, violet. <gasps> what do you think it could mean? Let's try it out. Blue, orange, red, green, orange, violet. Oh! And now comes a shark. Spelling out the name Borgov in colors has caused a secret compartment to open in the crest. Inside is a small key which you add to your keyring. Score. All right. If I ever, well, if I ever die, when I ever die, I am going to be buried in a place that has a similar cryptic puzzle. A cryptic puzzle? Ah! Oh, that's, that joke's already been made. All right, now I got this key, but what can I do with it? I mean, can I, I don't want to just leave. Maybe one of these crypts is the way out. No, not that one. The coffin cover is decorated oh. with a bas-relief sculpture of a knight. Searching carefully, you see a small hole that looks like a keyhole in the sculpture. Well, that's a hint. Open up. The small key from the crest opens a lot. I like how the in the background it's pretty much just our hero fondling the knight's crotch. Reveal your secrets under me, knight penis. After following the dark passage for several minutes, you come out into a castle chamber. The bookcase closes behind you, and there is no obvious way to open it again. Alrighty. So now we have to be sneaky. We are definitely trespassing in a very dangerous place, so let's definitely make sure we're back in sneak mode. <laughs> let's rest a little bit. Will it allow me? After some Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now there's two things of note in this room that I remember. This crest above the door. The bookshelves are full of incredibly exciting works, such as 250 years of boyar ledgers and first grade writing samples. Is there first grade in that? Well, anyway, I think that if you turn this, this is the way to open this up. And then there's this weird candle over here that looks like it doesn't quite belong. The chandelier provides scant light to the gloomy room. One of the candles has gone out and is dangling from the chandelier at an odd angle. Always to the left, am I right? 
All right, well, let's try that. Because I don't want to leave, but let's see if this opens up one of these other doors. You reach up to put the candle back. It's a fake candle. Oh. When you move it, a secret passage opens up behind the bookshelf. Who would have saw that coming? No, don't go through it. We just got here, you idiot. No, now we got to wander all the way back. All right, open relief. You can't. Yes, I. We, we know this already. Unlock it and go, you idiot. I was like, well, it's like, oh god, I opened up this chamber. I gotta take it. He's a creature of habit, this little guy. All right, let's go back into sneak mode. Let's find out what this castle holds. Now, because we're sneaking around, we gotta do the good thief thing and oil all the doors. Careful. Because we do not want to get busted in Careful. this place. You just take my word for it. All right, that's, and what's cool about it is. This game was definitely built more around the thiefy lifestyle because you can look through the keyholes, you can look for traps, listen at the door. It's amazing. It's wonderful. I love it. Look for traps. There are no All right, no traps. Let's listen at the door. All you can hear are distant creaks and groans and the beating of your own heart. Oh, creaks and groans. That means there's something in here. Oh, I mean something in the castle, but I don't hear anything. Let's look through the keyhole. You don't see any sign of life. All right. I think this door is safe. Let's pick the lock. You hear a gentle snick. Snick. The lock is open. I loved watching Snick when I was a kid. Oh, God, it still makes a lot of noise for being oiled. All right. Next room. Let's see. This. Let's check out this painting here. You see a portrait of a tall, arrogant-looking nobleman dressed for battle. Prince Bernard? Up. It's an ash urn. Ash urn. Don't make an ash of yourself. But up, but up, but up, up. Can I plug up the painting? You don't find any safes, secret passages, or other interesting oddities behind the painting. Hmm. Nope. The urn is empty. All right. Well, let's keep on looking through. You don't see. Any no, nothing over there. Let's oil the door. Careful. You probably don't really need to oil all the doors, but it never hurts to be. You can never be too careful. You hear it. All right, this cup looks out of place. You know we gotta have that. I don't even want to look at it. I just want to take it. Those things always leak. God damn it! Why would you make it blue and stand out from the basement if I can't have it? All right, let's see. What's in these cupboards? Cabinet is no, nothing in that one. How about this one? The cabinet is empty, save for a thick coating of dust. No. How about this middle one? Cabin. No, nothing there. All right, well, exploration continues. There's got to be something good in this house. Let's see. Anything through here? You catch a brief glimpse of the elusive flash of wings on the other side of the door. Flash of wings? It's probably just like some bats or something. Let's just save and go in there and kick their ass. All right, so let's just, let's just go. Let's, let's bust in. Force door open. That would be a bad idea. All right. Pick the lock. You hear it? Yes, bats. Come on, bats. Bring it on, bitch. All right. So let's turn de defensiveness up and aggressiveness up a little bit. So just attack as they come near. Yeah, it ain't, ain't even no thing, no mo. Come on, bring it on. Batter up, batter up, batter up. They are kind of, oh, no, they got me. They are kind of cute in a way. They look like little bats. You can't really see a good look at them. They're bats with red eyes and looks like rat heads or something. You jumped over it, man. Good for you. A little bit late on the swing there. That would have been a foul ball when he connected. Yeah, feel all strong about yourself. Look at you, beating up a bunch of little tiny bats. Whatevs. All right, let's cure our poison. And let's uh, let's rest for a quick second before we wander on no upstairs. I'm not really chased. I mean, I got laid before, right, hero? Tell me you ain't. Tell me it ain't so. All right, let's oil this door at the top of the stairs and let's see what's going on up here. All you carefully oil. Okay. Let's see what's going on. You straight no. You straight All right, peer through keyhole. Peering through the keyhole. No threatening activity. All right, that's our cue. Let's go. Open up. All right, this appears to be what looks like a dead end. Maybe this is the bookshelf I was thinking of with this weird crest. The boyar's crest looks slightly crooked. That's our cue. Let's open this motherfucker. 
What do these guys do in these rooms? Each one has identical tables with identical chairs with identical roaring fireplaces. I don't like you. I don't like you. Oh, such a cheery sight. 